Okay, in this painting I want to talk about the use of value and color control uh, to achieve the illusion of atmospheric perspective. I live in the Sonoran Desert, so uh, two miles of distance, uh, be even more than that, ten miles of distance it's going to take for me to be able to see this sort of uh, atmospheric perspective. Along the coast, I love painting the coast because of that thick, moist air, uh, you'll see those planes compress way down and you'll see that sort of heavy shift in a very narrow uh, field, you know, even a hundred yards or a half a mile as it would be from here to here. At any rate, uh, what I like to do, this was a field painting in, in Oregon, is I was really captured by how subtle the shift was to create that illusion. Uh, and the human brain tends to take over when we look at a subject like this and override what you're seeing and identify what's actually happening, which is the sun striking that, it's plant life, so it's green. In reality, if you were to isolate that out and put it down on your palette, that would be a cool gray. It's uh, much more saturated up here, so it's sort of guilt by association. If you get it right here and start graying that off very quickly as it goes back and compressing those value shifts from light to dark, it's going to step back there till ultimately that farthest plane back is oftentimes just one color and value. You'll see within each one of these shapes, I kept the, the value shifts very close and allowed color to go ahead and describe what was happening in terms of sedimentary layers and physical detail. And uh, as mentioned, each one, you see a little more contrast here, a little less there, and I'm beginning to pull them together tighter and tighter as they go back. And then I work the edges, I begin to eliminate a texture like you see here, and, uh, and it just creates that illusion of depth that's so commonly found on the, uh, in coastal conditions like this. Hi, my name is Matt Smith. One of the primary goals of this online course is to give folks the opportunity to study with me for a full year at their convenience, on their own time frame. It's not always easy to block out a week or more time to travel to a distant location for the purpose of studying with an artist of choice. Allowing oneself to study as their schedule permits creates a more relaxed atmosphere, which in turn opens the mind to learning. This is an opportunity I really wish I had in my early years. The course begins with an introductory module covering the basic consideration of tools, equipment, studio arrangement, lighting, the importance of indoor versus outdoor time, photography as a tool, and much more. This first module will set the tone for the remaining modules which will dive more deeply into the basics of drawing, value, design, and color. In the remaining four modules, I'll discuss why these basics are important, how to identify them, and in return, how to use them not only to analyze your chosen subject, but how to use them to create a blueprint for building your painting. It is so important to train your mind to see and think as an artist rather than someone who just documents what's in front of them. The way to do this is by understanding these fundamentals and applying them to the subject at hand. In other words, see by way of the basics, line, shape, value, etc., rather than all the physical components that make up the finished scene, like twigs, pebbles, and leaves. I'll then reinforce these concepts with both unedited visuals, photographs, and finished paintings that support the idea at hand. I'll then complete a demo of a subject that represents the particular fundamental addressed in each module. I'll also include a variety of photographic images for student use. Participants will also have access to me throughout the year by way of a private Facebook group. You'll be able to contact me with questions related to areas of difficulty or whatever you may be working on and want to discuss. This one-on-one -on -one time is where we can really fine-tune areas of interest for you. Thank you and I really hope you can join me.